so before we get you out of here, and we got to do that soon, I, uh, there's oh, one last thing. Over? We're, yeah, we're almost up to an hour already. It went fast, huh? And I still got to record one more show tonight. So Jeez. I know I guess busy night, man. Um, so before we, we there's we've had our disagreements in private conversation on the gays. Yeah, so, so I figured we go here. So I, I I figure we might as well air it out. As long as you're cool with it, I'm cool. Okay. I don't care. I I mean we're friends. We don't have, we can we don't have to agree on everything. Um, so yeah, l- l- let's hear it. What, what's your deal with the gays? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't have a pro- we were talking about gay marriage. You don't have a problem with gay people. Yeah, right? we yeah. were talking about gay marriage as yeah. an institution. Right. And like marriage as an institution, when it comes from like a government entity, it's there to encourage a society to mm-hmm. progress. You know, right. it's giving you tax incentives. It's giving you these. You stay together with the mother and produce children, and that mm-hmm. that's will give you tax breaks and will make it easier for you. The government does the same thing with LLCs and other businesses. Right. They try to make it easier for you to prosper with that. Mm-hmm. So when it, it, when it comes to like a gay marriage, it's not mm-hmm. an actual marriage. It's not a marriage in the eyes of the church, which sure. was one that invented marriage as a sacrament. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's it should be it should be something different, but it should be allowed. Right. So, you know, so do you think they should get like the same rights in terms of like signing wills and they can go see their partner when they're on their deathbed and stuff like that? Yeah, I agree with that okay. kind of stuff, but I don't agree that it should be a ta- they shouldn't get the same amount of tax breaks that you get from ha- from having a heterosexual marriage. Right. What what if we got the government out of it and just gave everyone the same tax rate? I mean, what for a marriage or for, for, for just period? I mean, what if we just lowered everything? Well, then that taxes? defeats the purpose of the government's. If we got them all the way out mm-hmm. of there, then we have no incentive for them to stay together because we're trying to build a family unit. Right. We're trying to build a better society to progress. I, I we're honestly, we're trying to be better than Ed, the next guy. We're right. trying to be better than Canada. We're trying to be better than well, Europe. We're, we're trying to be the best Canada. country that we can we're be. And so we're trying to Canada. encourage people to do things that make us the best country that we can be. Right. So. I'm gonna think about this before I say it real quick because I like to. I've had a couple glasses of whiskey and <laughs> it's starting to hit me. Ah. So, um, so no, it's a touchy so, issue. A lot of get a lot of slack. It is, and I, I appreciate that you're bold enough to come on here because a lot of people wouldn't even talk about it. A lot of people wouldn't even bring it up. They don't have the balls to even to even say what you're saying because I was nervous. I, I was shot. nervous. I'll probably Fuck catch man. some slack over it. But who cares, man? But I mean, so, so they they should have they should have it should be called something different. Mm-hmm. It should, they should have a similar same things like you can see your par- partner on your, the deathbed and whatnot. But mm-hmm. we need to get down to the core reason of why we do this whole marriage legal document thing in the first place. Right. We do that because we're trying to bind people together. Mm-hmm. So that they can stay together and raise a family, and I know a lot of people come in and say, "What if the girl can't get pregnant or whatnot?" Those are nitpicking things. Sure. Yeah, no, it's that is thing. like I the understand. core idea mm-hmm. is that a man and a woman produce children, and mm-hmm. those children are raised with a man and a woman in that household, both providing for that children to make the best possible out- offspring. That's gonna be the best citizen that it can be. So I mean, as far as the tax incentives are concerned, though, uh, that's not keeping people together. That's I mean, if if you're in a, a relationship, a marriage with someone who's cheating on you or beating you, or they're just not a, they're a distant partner and they don't want they're not in it for the long run, you're not gonna be thinking, well, I could really use that extra twelve hundred bucks <laughs> on my taxes this year. You know what I mean? Like that's that's yeah. not that's not gonna be one of the things you consider. You, now you will consider. Do I want my kids to grow up in a two in a two parent home or a one parent home? Do I really want to take on this financial the bigger financial burden, not just the taxes, but the bigger financial burden? Do I want to take that on? And in all couples experience that, whether it's gay couples, whether it's straight couples, whether it's whatever, they're going to experience those concerns if they're wanting to leave a partner. So that would be more of a divorce rate issue, sure. which is up to what fifty percent now. Uh, it it's keeps not quite that high. It it's, keeps rising. I the, think it's skewed. The less people that are in a religion, the higher it seems Absolutely. to go. Absolutely, I agree with that. Because we, when people are separating because they have all these issues, and that's been going on since the beginning of time. The mm-hmm. reason why they didn't get separated as much in the past was because they had this moral obligation not to get divorced through mm-hmm. the church, and whether yeah. they tried to work it out. I'm not saying you should work it out with an abusive spouse. I think you should 100 percent leave, or if they're constantly cheating, you should leave. But if you don't like the way he farts when he lays next right. to you in bed or this other guy's making more money than he is and you want to jump ship. No, that's not a good reason. You should you should intermarriage. You should intermatrimony as a, as a this is a lifelong thing. I'm going to stick with it through the bad and the good. I you agree. know, yeah. and it has to be some form of a huge extreme. I think it should be a lot harder for you to get divorced. Mm-hmm. I also think it should be a lot harder for you to get married, quite frankly. What do you mean by that? There should be more steps to go through within that to like prove, hey, we're going to be a solid unit. This is what we're going to do. It shouldn't just be go to the courthouse and have a witness, mm-hmm. you know, to go through it through the church. You have to go through steps. They meet with you. They talk with you. They mm-hmm. see what's going on, you know. 
It's just you gotta you gotta be in so, it for the long haul. I don't think like we're I don't think we're doing that as much so anymore. Essentially, where we disagree on the gay marriage thing is taxes and what we call it. Th- those are really where, where that's where the we main disagree. that's the main thing. That's, yeah, and, and I'm I'm a cons- I'm I'm a small government conservative. I think the more people we give tax breaks to, the better. Whether they're gay, yeah. they're gay, straight, it doesn't matter. I think the more people we can give tax breaks to, the better. I think as long as it's two consenting adults and or two consenting adults in a relationship, and whatever church or or I honestly don't think the government should be involved in marriage. I, I don't, don't think, think the I I honestly don't think they should at all. I don't think they should license. Your I marriage. see why they do it. I see how the incentives are there, and right. that's why it was instilled. I'm assuming. Well, you said you wanted them to. You, you said you did want them to be involved because you wanted the tax a better incentive. society. I see why. Oh, okay, I, I see that. why they are doing it, but I mean, ma- I think marriage is a sacrament through my church. At least it's a, it's one of the seven sacraments that you go through mm-hmm. between a man and a woman, and you get married through the church, and you have this bond. Right, and you can either I... do that or you can join the priesthood. Those those are what you do in life. You, you those are those little, choices. Little boys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody makes a pedophile joke the second you bring you up Catholicism. Everybody has to do it. That one. But that's, I mean, and, and that's fine. And I'd have no problem if a church doesn't want to marry a gay couple. I have no problem. That's their right. The government has no right to step in and enforce a religion to believe one thing or the other. That's why we fought the Revolutionary War. I have no problem with that. I just don't think that. I, at the same time, if a church does want to marry a gay couple and it's two consenting adults, I don't think that that's there's anything wrong. Well, that's with that. not a real church. Government. That's, that's well, not. Well, if it's a church, I mean, but it's not. You're just never going to see a Catholic church doing it's that. It's not just churches that people get married. Like we're not getting married in a church. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's not. I mean, you, whoever's endowed that wants. Because a lot less people are religious thing. now. Right. That's just the case. And the, I think the other thing that we disagreed on is like if you have the full incentive of a heterosexual relationship with a homosexual relationship in the form of marriage, you're encouraging what doesn't produce offsprings. And, and the, I think that's at the bottom line, you're you're encouraging a behavior, a lifestyle, the the way that they they they're born. I believe that people are born gay, mm-hmm. but you're encouraging that as a way to run the society, and that's just unsustainable. But how is it encouraging it if people are already born that way? They don't have a say in it. Because they're just getting the same amount of tax breaks, they're getting the same amount of government but, right, assistance if, by being married but as if they were in a heterosexual relationship. If they're, if they're gay, they're not going to pretend to be straight just to get the tax breaks. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, so like, they, shouldn't, they just shouldn't get them. So they should. So no one should get them, or just no. It should be a heterosexual relationship, right? But, but what you're saying is that, 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 and then once they have children, it should get more and more. The more children they have, the more the government Which gives I also them money. Agree. I agree on the children. Because the government's only the job children. in this role should be to produce more well-off Americans, right? But what, that should be the whole thing. But what you're saying with the tax incentive thing is you're saying that if you give gay couples, ta- if you give the same tax incentive to same-sex couples that you would to heterosexual couples, that would encourage more people to be gay. I don't think yeah. you can encourage people to be gay. It would encourage more people to live in that lifestyle, yeah. But if they're already gay, they're not good. Like, that, that was a How decision. many girls that, that do you know that say decision. they're bisexual? That's not the same thing. That's not the, every girl's bisexual. I'm talking, like, actual gay couples. You know, there, how, how many... Okay. How many gay I'll guys pop, are bi? How many bisexual girls do you know that actually marry another girl? <laughs> There's none. They all marry dudes. They, they make out with one of their friends while they're drunk, and that's it. Okay, that's not the same thing. <laughs> None of them are actually bisexual. Like that's that's not the same thing. <laughs> okay, um, that's such a sexist joke. <laughs> hey, hey, hey l- listen to me. Look at me defending tolerance and gay rights while making misogynist jokes. I'm the only one you can ever find that can do that. Okay, I'm the only one that'll ever do that. But no, so I don't think that you can encourage people to be gay the same way you can't encourage people to be straight. I mean, think about it. You didn't wake up one day and go, you know what? I like girls. You know, like, you just always did. It's the same. It's no different with gay guys. They just always like dudes. And I think it's completely separate from the trans thing. I think that's a whole other thing. How many? How many what? Do you think every single guy was just born full-blown gay? Or do you think they might? some guys might like girls and might like guys? I think... um, Take the bi guy that's on the fence about either one. Guys aren't bi. There's no bi guys. See, that's that's that's, that's, that's a stigma. That's a stigma. Lie. Guys can 100 percent be bi. I think, and, and I'm I'm being facetious. Obviously. Yeah, <laughs> but I think there's I think there's gay guys that do repress their feelings because they grew up in you know a a, a family or a community or whatever that that at one point in time maybe it wasn't as accepted, right? Or maybe it still isn't accepted. Yeah. So they repressed it and they maybe dated girls throughout high school or whatever, and 
eventually those guys, it, the, the truth's always going to, one of two things will happen, right? The truth's going to come out about who they are. They've been attracted to men their whole life. It's not something they just woke up and decided one day. The truth's going to come out, or he's going to hate his life and he's going to blow his brains out. Well, he and, might and not go to suicide all the way. To, well, guys can like guys and guys can like girls. And they right, can like both if, at if the if same time. Told you, if and so the told government's you. role in that should be, hey, if you get with this side, mm-hmm. There's some in, there's an incentive. <laughs> there's a, there's an incentive what, to go what? on this side with the girl's side compared to going on the guy's side. That should be the only role of the government. Though. But for for the they most, should still allow them to have a civil union yeah. and have all the same kids? rights. But like adopting kids, yeah. yeah I mean, there's uh-huh. nothing wrong with yeah. that per se. I, I, yeah, because that's that's my thing. Is with, we have with, a huge foster care problem. A huge fo- like I've seen a like I've called CPS and a crackhead that was talking about. I, should now, put I think the there's a huge problem with impregnating yeah. a woman for a gay couple. What I think mean? I think using a woman's body to mm-hmm. have a baby that they hand pick out, mm-hmm. I think that's just monstrous. Why? Because you completely remove the mom from the child in one hundred percent. Well, if that's what she wants to do, or if that's what they want to do, I, and I agree that that, that, a, that a, child a, needs a mom. I agree that a um, a household with two with a male and a female with a mother and a father, actual male and female. Yeah, not the so transgender you're stuff. growing a baby. I agree that's better, but I don't necessarily think that should be illegal. I mean, if they're a stable household, I think it should be shunned. I think it should be looked down upon. Sure. At least I'm not saying anything should be illegal. I'm just saying that we should be like, you're doing what? Ooh, it's gray area right there, bud. <laughs> hey, it's the gray area, man. It always yeah. comes on. It ain't black and white. <laughs> it's the gray well, area. If anyone still I mean, wants... That's just, it's just weird. Yeah. It's weird. You pay a woman to use the, her womb mm-hmm. for nine months. But straight and... couples do that, too. <sighs> that's weird, too. They yeah, shouldn't do that either. But if either. they couldn't have a kid... They shouldn't handpick a kid. And I, I don't disagree with that. I, I think that... And there's so I think many from kids. Where from where you're talking about... I, the in vitro fertilization, yeah. not necessarily from like a, a straight versus gay moral social thing, just more of a there's how many kids that need to be how adopted many in this kids country, need a and family you're out there like cloning one like Django Fett and Star Wars. Yeah, I can agree. Yeah, I can agree about shunning that baseline. Period, it's weird, regardless of, of baseline. It's there. weird. Yeah, I can agree with that. Top I, of the I, line is wrong. Mm-hmm. Baseline is it's a little weird. Yeah, I I, I can understand. And they that. take those well, pregnancy photos and they have like the mom in the background and they're both like sitting there holding the baby. That's weird. Well, plus there's nothing that protects you from that woman saying, you know what, I want to keep it because she's. The I mother. think she should. There's nothing. There's nothing that can stop that from happening. And and I mean, plus there's like postpartum depression and stuff. That yeah. woman could go crazy and come back four years and try to kidnap that kid. Well, you got him at the park. You know what I mean? There's no. It's just there's a lot of factors that a go into it. And there are a lot of pe- There are a lot of kids that are in the foster system that's overrun and run down in this country that do need to be adopted. My best so friend was in there. the foster kid. Now he's in maximum at, at jail right now because yeah. he got he got a bad run, got a, got into meth, got a couple of felonies, and then he was riding in a car that had a machete in it, mm-hmm. and now he's looking at and five then to ten. He got put in the foster system. He started. That, that in the was all before care. the age of six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was all before the age of six. Yeah, it was sad. It was sad to watch. It was sad mm-hmm. to watch foster kids go through and out this house and mm-hmm. just like just watch them one by one, just flunk, flunk, flunk. Mm-hmm. And Jerry and Larry, they're a married couple. They did their best to try and raise them. Jerry, are they two men? Two men? Or no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Jerry's well, haircut. Look Jerry's at haircut. Him coming in at the last second you with the gay argument. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Like I actually knew a gay couple See, that was a part of the, of the gay couples I know raise meth. Heads that wield machetes. That would have been that would have been the icing on the cake for my <laughs> argument. Is that I grew up in a neighborhood with the two gay couples that kept adopting foster kids and they kept fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the opposite. I mean, most gay couples actually make more money and they're more affluent than, than straight couples. Lesbians are the bottom. It's it's gay couples, really? straight couples, lesbians, which is also if you look at domestic violence, it's lesbians, straight couples, gay couples. Huh. They have the least amount of domestic violence. Women, the always the issue, well, aren't they? Think, I, I have a theory about that that I'll tell you off camera. But there's, anyway. there's nothing I can say now that's going to be yeah, any so worse than, I don't think the gays. Well, <laughs> you, you had more of a nuanced take than I think a lot of people would think at face value, and I think it's good that you were able to kind of... Oh, it's super hard to it talk about it. People get so upset about everything. I think it's good you were able to explain it. I think you did a good job. I don't necessarily agree with everything. I think we have a... Dis- a yeah. We we have disagreements in, in just the fundamental role of government in, in terms of what they should be doing and encouraging or discouraging. But I think you have a respectable opinion. You at least came on here and defended it well. I don't I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't think you're bigoted or hateful for it. So yeah, that's everyone wants to go there. And then no. they start using catchwords. Oh, you're a homophobe. Oh, you're a bigot. You're no, all, you're I don't all think all you're this. homophobic. 
No, it's I just think, like I I'm not. Dis- I'm not that. I'm just. You have a disagreement in the role of uh, uh, of how government should function in a society. That doesn't mean you hate one group of I people. Think, I think the whole purpose, the entirety of the United States government's purpose, should be to make the best American society possible. I agree. If that means exploding kids in the Congo so we can have <laughs> smartphones. I guess that's part of the agenda. It's just a small price to pay. <laughs> small right? price. Big price for them. Small for small us. Small price to pay. Anyway, <laughs> w- where can people find you at, man? One more time. Shout it out. Uh, Justin Healy on Facebook. It's with an E, not an I. Mm-hmm. And on Instagram. And yep. then don't follow my Twitter because that's inappropriate. What's the Twitter? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Okay, saying. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even know what his Twitter account is. I. That's where I argue with people online still because we'll they can't the find descri- me on the we'll Twitter. Share, we'll share it in the description afterwards. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for checking this out. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn the notifications on. Um, if you're listening to us on Apple or Spotify or any of the audio platforms, leave a five star review. That that helps us with the algorithm. It boosts us up. It makes us look better to prospective listeners. So go ahead, leave the five star review. Go to outlawstreamers.com to learn more. We're on Rumble, Spotify, Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, and iHeartRadio. And the show drops every Saturday. Again, this was a pre taped one. Like I said, if Putin shot nukes off at Poland or, or like Biden had another aneurysm or something while I'm on vacation, I don't want to hear no comments about, don't, don't worry, how could you? You missed the biggest news of the century. Relax. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate thank you coming you. on. Thank you guys so much for checking the show out. Every Saturday, we'll be back next week. With, an, with your normal scheduled programming, of course. Thank you guys so much. Peace out and stay based. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.